New crater appears, hundreds of aftershocks, non-stop eruptions. Yellowstone in turmoil in the last 48 hours. Monday morning, July 28, 2025. The world of science was once again shocked by a horrific geological event that rocked Yellowstone National Park, United States. In less than 48 hours, signs that had previously only been warnings in scientific reports began to manifest. A new crater suddenly appeared, hundreds of aftershocks shook, magma rose significantly to the surface, and steamboat geyser erupted non-stop. The question now resonates around the world. Is the Yellowstone supervolcano waking up faster than expected? New crater appearing suddenly? Early on Sunday morning, July 27th, a research team from the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory YVO, detected a sudden topographic change in the Norris Geyser Basin. In just a few hours, a new crater measuring 300 meters wide and approximately 40 meters deep formed. Hot smoke and sulfurous vapor immediately erupted from the exposed fissures, indicating intense thermal activity beneath the surface. According to Dr. Lisa Hartman, a senior volcanologist at YVO, this phenomenon is rare but not entirely unexpected. We have been monitoring increased underground pressure for the past several weeks, including a surge in hot spring temperatures and an increase in the frequency of micro-earthquakes. However, the formation of a crater of this size in such a short period of time remains a serious concern, she said at a press conference Sunday afternoon. The research team is now deploying additional instruments to monitor magma movement, including ground deformation GPS, additional seismographs, and airborne infrared scans. Preliminary results indicate that this shift is likely caused by the accumulation of hydrothermal pressure, rather than the direct movement of magma to the surface. Good news that somewhat eases concerns about the potential for a major eruption. Hundreds of aftershocks peak at magnitude 5.3. Since Saturday night, July 26, Yellowstone's seismic monitoring system has recorded more than 740 aftershocks, with the main shock, measuring magnitude 5.3, occurring at 9.48 p.m. local time Sunday night. This series of earthquakes is classified as a swarm earthquake but this time it shows a pattern of drastically increasing pressure toward the center of the caldera, something that is rare at this level. Dr. Kevin Marshall of the USGS said, We haven't seen seismic activity in Yellowstone with this intensity and frequency since modern monitoring began. Experts say that pressure from below the surface appears to have not only triggered the earthquakes, but also caused the ground to crack open, forming a giant crater. Temperature sensors indicate an extreme increase in hydrothermal activity. Water temperatures in some geysers soared more than 30 degrees Celsius in less than 12 hours. Magma rising significantly? Data from GPS monitoring, INSAR satellites, and geothermal systems recorded uplift of 12 centimeters in just two days. Surface thermal sensors also showed a rise in ground temperature of up to 35% in some locations, particularly near the new crater and around the main caldera. This significant increase indicates that a large magma chamber beneath Yellowstone is actively moving, pressing on the topsoil, and creating pressure that could lead to an eruption or further ground deformation. But what do all these changes really mean? Geologists and volcanologists state that while these changes are striking, they do not necessarily indicate an imminent eruption. Yellowstone is known as one of the most complex volcanic systems in the world. 
Activities such as uplift and increased temperatures could be part of the natural breathing process of the supervolcano's caldera system, where magma rises and falls without erupting. However, the speed of this uplift, 12 centimeters in two days, is remarkable. Typically, ground deformation in Yellowstone only amounts to a few millimeters to centimeters per year. A surge like this suggests a more aggressive increase in pressure beneath the surface. Non-stop rumbling and eruptions from Steamboat Geyser? Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest geyser known for its irregular eruptions, is now in the spotlight after experiencing 19 consecutive eruptions over the past 36 hours. Each eruption was accompanied by loud rumblings, ground shaking, and jets of hot water more than 90 meters high. Steamboat geyser typically erupts sporadically, sometimes going months or even years between major eruptions. However, such high intensity and frequency have never been recorded in Yellowstone's modern monitoring history. This is not just a common phenomenon, said Dr. Leo Mathers, a geothermal expert at Montana State University. Geysers can be seasonally active, but a series of eruptions like this with such high pressure is highly unusual. Is this a sign of deeper volcanic activity? Some experts suspect that this extraordinary activity is not just the result of ordinary steam pressure beneath the surface. Recent geothermal data indicates significant changes in the composition of the released gases, including increased levels of carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide, which are typically associated with shallow magma movement. We could be witnessing a hydrothermal system receiving an energy boost from below, explained Dr. Mathers. That could mean there's a small magma intrusion that's heating the groundwater to an extreme degree. Will Yellowstone wake up sooner than expected? For years, scientists have warned of a potential eruption from the Yellowstone supervolcano but always with the caveat that it was still a long way off, hundreds or even thousands of years away. However, the events of the past 48 hours have changed many views in the global geological community. In an emergency press conference this morning, Dr. Elena Rodriguez, YVO's chief volcanologist, stated, we can't say for sure that Yellowstone will erupt anytime soon, but all the data indicates that the magmatic system is under high pressure. We've never seen anything like this growing so rapidly. From laboratories in Tokyo to volcanic observatories in Iceland, the world's eyes are now on Yellowstone. Many are asking, is this the beginning of the awakening of a supervolcano that has so far been the subject of only documentaries and scientific theories? For now, Yellowstone remains quiet, but not completely quiet. Scientists and the global public are preparing, not only for the possibility of an eruption, but also for the understanding that nature, though well-studied, remains full of mysteries.